A public mental health center in Pilsen has reopened its doors. It is one of three Mayor Brandon Johnson promised would open by the end of the year. So where does the mayor's plan stand now? Sarah Maki is looking into the campaign pledge tonight. During the Pilsen South Ashland Health Hub, Mayor Brandon Johnson said this reopening marks a significant milestone in the effort to address health disparities and talked about his personal connection to the issue, referencing his own brother, Leon's struggle. He passed well before his time, addicted and unhoused. And, and like my brother, many residents are suffering from mental health crises and they don't have access to consistent, affordable and accessible mental health care that they need. Speaker said this no cost center will see about 300 clients a year, offering bilingual services, free vaccinations, plus WIC services in 2025. We are demonstrating right now how we are able to change things and how we are able to get the things that we need for our communities. And this is the latest health service to reopen since the mayor made a major announcement in May. We are certainly thrilled to announce the expansion of our city's mental health system. When he debuted the city's roadmap to expanding mental and behavioral health services, one promised location, Langler Regional Library in West Garfield Park, started seeing patients this summer. <laughs> the Pilsen location makes two, and for a third, Johnson previously pledged to reopen Roseland Mental Health Clinic by the end of the year. But this does come as the city tackles a budget gap. The city projecting mental health response and care program costs will grow each year with a more than $19 million funding gap by 2027, admitting there must be an identification of additional revenue sources to address the forecasted funding gap. We will not stop investing in people. We asked the mayor's office for more information about that Roseland Clinic and when it will open. We have not heard back from the newsroom, Saramaki, CBS News, Chicago. Thank you, Sarah.